Hello designers and developers. Today I'm going to show you my five free offline text editors for web development in Windows, Mac and Linux. Choosing the perfect text editor for your work can be a challenging task. It requires personal preference and judgment based on your development project. Before you jump into a single text editor, I would advise you experimenting with different ones. And today I'm going to show you Notepad++, Brackets, Atom, Sublime and Vim. I'm going to start with Notepad++. Here is the page that you can download it. Just go on the download. And uh, you can download it very, very easily. Some of the features is uh, it has syntax highlighting and syntax folding, GUI entirely customizable, minimalistic tab with close buttons, uh, zoom in and out, and I'm going to show you it right here. This is what it looks like. Here I'm in HTML, this is CSS, and some JavaScript. Uh, by the menu, you can see all the options. You get file, edit, search. It has a very nice search options like find, find in files, next, previews. Then you get in views. You get hide lines, which is this one, like 1 through 16. Um, encoding, I usually use UTF-8, but you can also use ANSI languages. Here, for example, I'm using uh, JavaScript, so I would go to J for JavaScript. We get settings and, of course, preferences is very important. Tools, macro, run, plugins and windows. I'm not going to say more because I think that um, you know not about plus plus. So I'm going to continue with brackets. A modern open source text editor that understands web design. Once again, it is very easily uh, to download it. Just click the download button. And uh, some of its characteristics is quick edit, focus on visual tools, preprocessor supports, inline editors, live preview, and it's super lightweight. After you download it, it looks like this. Okay, now I'm in HTML and you can see it here. And you get your CSS like this. Uh, again, you have file, edit, find, view, navigate, debug and help. I'm going to do in edit. And here you can do a lot of things. Again, in find there are many options. Here is view. I get no split, vertical, horizontal and some other cool properties. Navigate like quick open, go to line, quick find definition, jump to definition debug, like so developer tools, which is really important, reload with extensions, reload without extensions, switch language, and help. One of my favorite tools in brackets is this one, which is a live preview. Okay, and it, um, it will open the browser so you can see what exactly you're doing. Live preview, connecting, you need to be in index HTML before I was in style CSS. So here it is, like I've got this thing set up and now for example, um, if I change this, I deleted the exclamation mark and now you have your live, oh sorry, I didn't save it. I will press Ctrl S to save it and now you see that uh, I see the picture without the exclamation mark which is another great tool and um, here is also the extension manager you get available themes installed and default you can play a lot of with uh, these things I'm just going to themes and here I got Monokai uh, yesterday morning theme, sweet arcs and many more. One of my favorite is Monokai Strikes. You just um, install it and 
then everything looks great. All right, uh, let's continue. We will continue with Atom. Atom is a hackable text editor for the 21st century. It's very easy to download it. Just click download according to your like Windows, Mac or Linux. Some of its characteristics is cross-platform editing, built-in package manager, smart auto completion, file system, browser, multiple panes, find and replace. The page has a beautiful UI and let's see how it looks here. This is the first page, the welcome one. You can close it. And then we got Okay, sorry for that. We get index and alert. Sometimes it can be a little bit slowly because I have opened um, a lot of things. All right, here it is. Now I'm in JavaScript, you see how it looks like. And the same is for index.html. You get edit, view, selection, finds, packages, and help. We will go to find. And here you have a lot of options. And once again, in packages, you can see a lot of stuff. I've already downloaded some packages. I like git diff and github. Uh, but now let's continue uh, with Sublime. And Sublime is a text-free and cross-platform text editor for codes, markup and prose. It supports many programming languages and markup languages. Some of its characteristics is um, our, sorry, use go to anything to open files with only a few keystones, multiple selections, command palettes, destruction free mode, split editing, instant project switch, and pretty much you can customize um, anything. Sublime is also a great tool that stands next to Atom. Here is how it looks the JS, JavaScript, and I like this option here that you can move it up and down and find everything very, very easily. And as I said, find, uh, here are the options to find, to place, or do any sort of these things. Here is the go to the dimension, like go to anything. Um, in the view here, you got your sidebar, hide or open. Now I hide this, you have your lines and of course your preferences that you can customize anything from the color to the fonts. You can browse package and do all these sort of things. And last but not least, um, I will show you Vim. If you are using a um, Unix system or like Linux system, you probably know it. Uh, Vim is a highly uh, configurable text editor built to enable efficient text editing. It is improved version of the VI editor distributed with most Unix systems. VI is available for all the major desktop platform platforms. Sorry, it's quite an old school design, but it could be intimidating if you are uh, used to more modern software. Some of its characteristics um, are that it's completely keyboard based. Um, it can be used in a remote development environment using a terminal over an SSH. It enhances, sorry, it enhances um, some files. It has a powerful API package ecosystem. And once again, you can customize anything. Here is the menu. You get your file, edit. Here you can see all the comments, tools, syntax, buffers, windows, and help. Uh, VI is something that you would more probably use in Linux and not that much in Windows or Mac. Um, and that's it guys. Do you have a favorite free text editor? And if you